Hi Capricorn, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of April 22nd through the 28th. This is for Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon, and Capricorn Rising Signs. So Capricorn, for this reading, I am using the Crystal Visions Tarot deck along with the Blessed Bee Oracle cards. All right. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles can represent you guys planting those seeds. Could be starting something new, planting those seeds, investing a lot of time and energy into something, but it will need time to grow for some of you. Other Capricorns, you've already invested a lot of time and energy into something. Seven of Pentacles pentacles can be some of you like re-strategizing or asking yourself some pretty important questions here this week. What do you want to do next? You've invested a lot of time and energy into something. Is it worth you investing any more time or energy into this? So some of you, you're asking yourself um, some important questions here this week with the seven of pentacles. So you could be making some changes you know, if you've been working very hard on something, and that really could be with anything um, in your life, you've been you've been working hard, you've been investing, and if you haven't been seeing the progress that you that you want to see, you could be changing it up here this week, making some changes. Now, the overall energy for you guys for the week is the Three of Cups, which is a, a very social energy. So some of you. Um, you know, you could be very social here this week and maybe some of you have been staying in a lot more uh, Capricorn and this is you getting out now this week. You could be reuniting with friends or family here with the Three of Cups. Some of you could even be going out and celebrating something. I do have some fire sign energy here um, and so there could be a Leo, there could be a Sagittarius or even an Aries person who's significant. We're starting with the Hermit, so Virgo could be significant. And when I did the Virgo forecast, they actually had the Devil as well. So there could be like a Virgo Capricorn connection. Um, but the Hermit can also represent some of you. Maybe you've been kind of hermiting yourself away. Maybe you've been staying a lot in a lot, excuse me, with the Hermit energy it can represent you kind of you know, seeking that solitude and, and spending a lot of time alone. And here with the Three of Cups, you know, you could be making some changes here. Now you're going to go out, you're going to enjoy yourself, you're going to socialize for some of you. Um, and maybe you're even reuniting with someone. So we do have strength. We do have the sun here. So these are Leo cards. And then I happen to also have the King of Wands here. So some of you, there could be a Capricorn Leo connection with this King of Wands. So, you know, a Leo could be significant. Maybe some of you are reuniting with a Leo. This could be an ex, but it could be an old friend or a family member. And if not a Leo, I do have temperance here as well. And so it could be a Sag. I could even be reading for some Sag uh, Capricorn Cuspers, you could be the King of Wands, uh, Capricorn, but Strength and the Hermit, for some of you, this is you spending some time alone here. So for some of you, this could be something you've been doing. Um, you could be doing it this week as well, but at some point, I do feel like you will get out um, and you will be social. Strength can be you kind of being patient, you know, especially with that seven of pentacles at the bottom of the deck, you being patient when you need to be patient, Capricorn. Um, that's what, what I really feel like this is with strength and temperance here. This is like you basically kind of, for some of you, maybe going with the flow here or even maybe surrendering here to the universe. But this is like you taking your time. This is you allowing for things to happen and things could be happening gradually for some of you, but this is you being very patient. Um, and this could even be a, a good time for, for you to weigh those options here, especially with that seven of pentacles. For those of you that are making changes at, at this time, you know, you've 
maybe been waiting for that growth, waiting for things to progress to the next level. And so some of you have been very patient um, on this journey that you're on. And so now is a good time again to make those changes, to weigh those options, to listen to your intuition, definitely. For me, it's temperance. Um, for me, is is it speaks about that spiritual guidance. Um, now we have the five of wands here, so there could be competition. For me, the five of wands um, can be internal or external kind of challenges that you're dealing with, but these are not like huge blockages. They're more like nuisances than anything else. And so maybe some of you, if this is on the work front, you might work in like a very competitive environment. with the five of wands. Um, for those of you that are reuniting with someone, pick and choose your battles here. With the five of wands, it can be a clashing of energies. You know, you very passionate about one thing, but then someone else or even like a group of people very passionate about, you know, their feelings. And so it can be two people butting heads or, or or you butting heads with, with a group. Um, some very passionate energies, Capricorn. Uh, if you're in a relationship, pick and choose your battles. Uh, you might be in a relationship. And if you were, like maybe fighting over small, insignificant, petty things with temperance here and the star, for those couples that maybe you and your partner have been clashing a little bit lately, this is energy coming in with the star, temperance, the ace of cups here. This is a, actually a, a tremendous amount of healing energy. So you guys have, you know, an opportunity basically to make up here, to get back um, on the same page, to bring in that balance with temperance. Um, what's needed is... You know, don't fight over small stuff here with the Five of Wands. Needing to stay positive with the star, needing to have faith um, for some of you. Yeah, basically. And maybe with the Hermit, some of you just need some time alone. You might need some time alone. They might need some time alone. But you definitely have, you know, that energy to be able to mend the relationship, to get back on that same page with the Ace of Cups, yeah, to um, basically reunite for some of you. Other Capricorns, there could be obviously new love coming in with the Ace of Cups, a new beginning, a blessing, one that is going to make your heart very happy. So for some of you, there could be this King of Wands person with the Ace of Cups mirroring the King of Wands here. There could be this this male energy that's coming in for you, Capricorn. So for some of you, this could be someone entirely new coming in. For others with the Three of Cups here, this could be you you reuniting with someone here this week. Um, and the sun speaks about success. Some of you may be in the spotlight here. You could be shining bright, Capricorn. Others, this Ace of Cups is going to bring you great joy. Great joy, um, a lot of happiness. Those, those partnered or married Capricorns, you could be conceiving a child. So if that's the case, congratulations. Um, if you are pregnant... I would say take it easy. Um, don't stress yourself out if you're pregnant or your partner's pregnant, Capricorn. Take it easy. Um, laugh. Laugh at yourself. Laugh at, you know, little things that go on within uh, your relationship. Don't take, you know, things so serious. Definitely needing to laugh. Um, I'm just seeing if there's anything else. Yeah. 
Yeah, and don't overexert yourself. Um, take it easy this week, and if you feel up to it, you know, go out. You know, spend time with loved ones as well, but don't, like, overdo it. Let's pull you an additional guidance card. Other Capricorns, you have this blessing. You have this blessing that's coming in. Seven of Pentacles, you might need to definitely maybe re-strategize or make some changes. And yes, you might need to be patient here with this, but very much needing to keep the faith, needing to stay positive. The sun, for some of you, you might see an increase in energy here this week. You know, this blessing that's coming in, it might inspire you for some of you. But let's see, what else does Capricorn need to know? Additional guidance for Capricorn for this week. All right, so I want the card that's upright. All right. And I'm trying to think, I mentioned in the beginning of the reading that there might have been a Virgo Capricorn connection. And if I remember correctly, I believe Virgo had the same Oracle card as well. So that's interesting. But we do have a blessing for a fresh start. So you have this blessing that's coming in Capricorn. And this blessing is going to bring you a lot of happiness, a lot of happiness with the sun here. So very nice. Um, so this is a week, again, to listen to your intuition. For some of you, rest when you feel you need to rest. Others, you know, if you've been staying in a lot, you know, if you have friends or family or someone who wants to reconnect with you, definitely do that. I see it as, as being you know, a good idea. Uh, and this could be a week that for some of you with the seven of pentacles that you feel it's a good time to make some changes. So for those of you that this is you um, manifesting something new in your life or moving towards a goal, yes, you might have to be patient. Uh, and this could be a good time to make those changes. But I think you're going to be successful. Just needing to stay positive for some of you with the star, needing to stay optimistic. All right, Capricorn. So I hope that you found this reading helpful. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. If you are interested in having a private reading with me, please check out northeastterror.com. I do have the one question mini oracle readings up for sale on my website. And that is a less expensive option for those of you that only have one question. All right, Capricorn. So have a great week. Take care.